Hey, welcome back. I'm Carissa and this is my garden and today I'm going to be potting up some canna lilies. Um, I was reminded by a friend that um, if we pot them up now, they will start their foliage and bloom earlier in the summer. So I'm so excited to do that and I'm a little annoyed with myself that I didn't think of it sooner. But anyway, that's okay. It's mid-April here, so they can't go out for another month anyway. So I'm hoping by that time their foliage will grow and they'll fill up my, my pool planters really nicely with some foliage and their blooms later on in the season as well. Last year I had some canna lilies around our pool and they were just the most beautiful tropical feel uh, to have around the pool. So I was just so excited. And then um, I decided to dig them up and overwinter them. So here in this box, this was from a ball border. Um, I made good use of it. I put them in here and they seem to have overwintered quite fine. Um, I can see the new growth points on the, not tuber, maybe these are rhizomes. Um, anyway, so I can see quite a few different new growths on here, but I'm not going to divide it because the pots I have are quite large. So I think this will be good enough for the pot I'm doing. But I also picked up a different variety here. This is the uh, Angel Martin. And I just loved the look of those blooms. So I think they'll, they'll be beautiful as well. The ones I have here um, were more of a red, a red bloom. I'll put a picture of what they looked like last year. But they were just so, so nice to have. Um, just a really nice performer in the summer. So anyway, I bought these um, and I will be putting them in a bit of a smaller pot because they are obviously smaller. And then I have these large, these are two gallon pails. Um, for my larger clumps. So I have three of these and I have three of the smaller ones. So I'm going to pot them up and keep them indoors because it's still quite cool here. Um, so I'm going to keep them indoors um, in a light, under a light, and then once it's, you know, below or once it's above 10 degrees at night, which is usually mid, mid to late May for us, they will go outside into their home in their pots around the pool, which is just on that side. Yeah, so I'm going to pot these up. So I think I'm going to get rid of some of the dead foliage. Get these pots over. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the, the dried up foliage because there's no reason for that. And there, now I can see a lot more um, of the growth points. It looks to me like there are at least five, no, seven, eight. <laughs> there are at least eight growth points, which means it's going to be a beautiful full plant. Right here, and then there's a few over here. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be beautiful. So my pot, like I said, is a two gallon. It's quite large, and I think these will fill up the pot quite nicely. I'm going to dump out some of the soil actually. I just have a mix of uh, compost and potting soil for these. So I'm going to place, it's quite similar, potting these up is quite similar to um, potting up dahlias if you've ever done that. To me at least it seems like you're going to have a few inches of soil at the bottom of your pot. Place your canna in just like so and then fill up the extra soil just like so and then I will water these in It's all right to leave some of the growth points exposed, also similar to dahlias, um, because you will be able to see some of the growth come up. But then once I will be putting them into their summer homes, their summer pots, I will be um, leaving the soil a little bit higher than this. Yeah, but this is good for now. Okay, one done, five to go.
All right, that was today's chore for the day. Um, one more thing started and one more thing that will give me beautiful foliage and blooms for the whole summer. I'm so excited to get these under the grow lights and in my uh, basement just so that they can start, start getting a head start on uh, growing. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thank you.